what is up everyone we're gonna do a couple more side stuff and go visit some more planets and then head back to the citadel so let's jump right into it this has a level one hazard some of these look like i'll be able to go to them eventually like why why would it tell me unless we were planning on coming here eventually Ah, I know. Hold on, is this it? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was like, it's gotta be around here. I found it. Time to go see Earth. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, look at all of it's so cute. Neptune. <laughs> Though Neptune, like Uranus, has plentiful helium, its remoteness made it an unpromising target for mining before development of Mass Effect Drive. With Uranus cheaper to exploit, it has never seen extensive development. Only permanent human presence is a small research facility on Triton. Oh, a population of 70, so tiny. Oh, so bright. And I was like, where's the, the moon? We've got Saturn. Saturn has been a major source of helium-3 fuel for fusion plants since 2150s. The moon of Titan is mined for hydrocarbons and used as a hostile environment training facility for the Alliance Marines. Holy shit, look how many. Look at us. Jupiter. Jupiter's deep gravity well and lethal radiation have kept its moon from moons from being significantly exploited. The largest outpost is Binax Helix Corporation's Nautilus facility, attached to the underside of Europa's ice sheet. I always thought Jupiter looked so gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's stunning. Uranus, after the development of the Mass Effect FTL drive, distant Uranus was a target of land rush to exploit its combination of plentiful helium-3 fuel and shallow for a gas giant gravity well. Today, Uranus is the largest producer of helium-3 in the Alliance space. Nice. This is why they want to be with us. Good old Mars. Man, I want to go to Mars so bad. I feel like I love Mars. <laughs> Once considered a prospect for terraforming and a colonization, the discovery of faster-than-light travel turned Mars into a quiet backwater. Its southern pole is a historical preserve centered on the Prothean ruins found there. Immigration and development are restricted as the search for Prothean artifacts continue. What year did this game come out again? I don't know how old this game is. I can't remember. Earth. <laughs> Look how cute Earth is. We can't land there. What is this? <laughs> it's okay. Generated by bootstrap space development. Use of kinetic barriers is recommended at altitudes over 85 kilometers. 11.4 billion. Honestly, I'm surprised it's not more. <laughs> Luna. A beautiful moon. An early source of helium-3, Luna is now mined for materials used in space habitat construction. Two dozen major stations have been constructed at Earth's L4 and L5 lag range points, all, on fall, all, for, eh, all from lunar resources. Wait, what did that say? Hold on. Capital Armstrong. <laughs> it's adorable. Venus. With its molten temperature, sulfuric acid clouds, and crushing carbon dioxide atmosphere, Venus has only a handful of aerostat research outposts. Oh, cute. Mercury. A handful of solar power stations exist on peaks of external light at the north and south poles of Mercury. The difficulties imposed by the planet's proximity to the sun and high orbital velocity have limited development. 340 people, though. Jesus. Look how far we've come. Time to go. Oh, no, wrong one. Eh, it's so tiny next to it. Our little moon. Okay. 
This team might not be the best combat strength wise, but it might be okay. <laughs> we'll give it a try. That means I'm gonna have to take the lead, which is fine. It's our mood. Yay. <laughs> so cute. You know, this reminds me of that game that I heard come out so long ago. I don't even know what happened to it. But I remember people talking about it. Oh, God, what was it called? It was like... No Man's Sky, I want to say? Where you could actually... I don't even remember what it was about, but... I'm pretty sure you could go to different planets there. I could be completely wrong. I'm thinking of a different game, but... I wonder what happened to that game. We need to look at what we're doing here. <laughs> I have forgotten. There it is. And deal with the rogue VI on Earth's moon. Okay, let's look at the map. We got some debris over here. And then the Alliance train. And let's go to the debris first. Bam, 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 bam. Nice, nice. Hope you two are doing good. Ready. You lead. I'll follow. <laughs> Everything seems in order. <gasps> oh, look at it! It's Earth. Man, that is like one thing that I wish I would give anything. It is like my dream. If when I die. To die seeing the Earth from this kind of perspective. Oh, look how beautiful it is. It's so cute. A beautiful Earth. So adorable. Whoa! What? Stop attacking me. I'm trying to admire <laughs> Earth from a distance. It looks so cute in the sky. Okay, well, let's peek over. Who's shooting at me? Whoa. <laughs> and back up. Ah! <laughs> Missed me. Okay. We got those. Oh, it's right here. Let's go check it out. Get ready. I don't know if they're gonna have anything, <laughs> but we'll find out. Anyone in here? Seems a little too quiet, if you ask me. Hmm. Oh, god damn. Oh my god. What is, is this where we came from? Yeah. So I guess we're going through here. What could be behind these doors? I see some enemies. I'm a little scared. They're like right around here. Where are they? Why aren't they attacking us? Advanced assault drone. Hear me out. Oh, 
You mean insanely insane advanced road. <laughs> That's what you meant, game. Oh god. Terrible. This is yeah, I was not ready for this. Someone give me a hand! I'm dead. This is the one behind us. It's like they're just completely surrounding us. I think he's done. Nice. Okay. Really? <laughs> what else can I use? Maybe this. Where'd they go? How's that thing not taking damage? I'm trying to hit it. Ugh, God. Oh, it's hacked. Whoops. That's why. Is that all of them? Yeah. We're just gonna keep the all on instead of having them... I thought I had that setting where they are supposed to take care of themselves. I thought that's what defensive was. Was that they would use their abilities, but they haven't been using their abilities. And I realized that it was the wrong setting this whole time. So that explains why they don't use their abilities. <laughs> okay, which door? There's a lot of things in here. Oh, this is kind of creepy. The I can't do it. Okay, can I do anything with it? Oh, is it this? Do I have to shoot you? A toxic gas is being vented into the... Well, that's awkward. I feel about this pistol. Kind of like the other one better. This one does not shoot fast at all. The one I had before was kind of good. But this one does more damage, but I feel like the other one's just better because I could actually shoot it fast. <laughs> it's as fast as it goes. Lights on the optical mainstream flicker and die. The first of the three computing clusters containing the VI is offline. We've done it. Let's leave this hellhole. <laughs> Jesus. To the next one. Let's see how bad this one's gonna be. I wonder which ones I got. Let's see. What is it? Rogue VI. I was like, I don't know which one it's called. Core 3. So is that the harder one? Did we get the harder one done with sooner? That's the last of them. I don't see anything yet. Oh, there they are. I'm guessing they're gonna be drones again. Which is just absolutely lovely. Yep. Hello, welcome to my face. Oh, he can just kill me. <laughs> Before I can use it. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to live anyways, it's fine. Someone shoot it. Oh, she died so fast. Oh god. I don't even know what I could have done for her. <laughs> I don't even know what I should have done. Oh, 
That one's almost dead. Nice. Okay. Let's just use this. Oh, that one didn't even shoot at me. It was done. Oh, she probably hacked it. <laughs> We're ready, Shepard. Are you okay? <laughs> I think every single, every single AI drone shot at her at once. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I couldn't heal you fast enough. I tried. I tried so hard to heal her fast enough. Like that's a double. And I can spam it, which is much better. Why is there a shield on this one? Suspicious? I think so. Goodbye. Damn it. <laughs> the only thing about this one <laughs> that's not the best <laughs> is that. We did this get here. What are you doing on here, huh? What? No. I, I think this AI is me- This AI is messing with me. I'll bypass you with all I want. Get out of here. Second of three computing clusters containing the VI is offline. Stop putting these walls in front of me, stupid VI. I had to end suddenly. <laughs> really odd timing, so here we are back again. It it's been a couple target. days. Oh god. Oh yeah, I put it on. All now. I thought that defensive was what all does. But I was wrong. What gun do I have? Why does it always give me the sniper rifle? Do, wait, did I do this one already? Maybe I did this one already. Yeah. I definitely did. They're freaking out in there. You guys ready? Looking good, everyone. Oh god. <laughs> Get him! Quick! Oh damn, I didn't even notice Tali died. <laughs> Tali, I'm sorry. I think she took the front of everything. <laughs> Got it. You're fine. We're okay. Probably should have waited for Tali to get back up. <laughs> Before I healed. Are you okay? <laughs> I hope you're okay. <laughs> Cool, cool. Let's go. Let's go finish this job up. Even though it's been a minute, let me heal you just in case we come across something else. Still putting your little shields up, we see. I'm gonna take you out. This is the last one. And then we're done. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Stop trolling me. <laughs> I'm gonna open this door. It's gonna be here too, isn't it? Yeah. Additional security drones? Oh, God. Where are they? Okay, they're... <laughs> they're just chilling there. Okay. Maybe we should take them out before I continue forward. Oh god! 
It happened so fast. Nice. We all good? Whew, I think all we're all good. Eliminated. Nice. I don't know if there's gonna be more when I do this, so. What the? I'm... Oh, I guess it's done. <laughs> it didn't explode. Easy peasy. Follow me to the next one. So if I had done that in this room first, would I have been attacked by drones in here? That would suck. <laughs> Data port? What if I access that before I destroy it completely? Oh. Nothing. A burst of white noise is overall frequencies nearly de deafens you. Your heart suit's heads up displays interprets into a series of zeros and ones. Oh god. I can't read it. <laughs> they repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights of the final VI clusters flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Man, I feel like I should take a picture of that and decrypt it later. <laughs> I'm sure some people know, because isn't binary like one of the easiest codes to learn? Code languages to learn? We, we'll, uh, your specialization class will replace your base class in the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen and view the bonuses you gain with each rank in your specialization class. Oh, cool. Cute. Oh, I gotta pick one. Highly trained killing machines, shock troopers excel in combat situations. Hmm. This is hard, actually. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I feel like I should do this one. But also this one. I'm gonna do this one. Nice. Looking cool. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess we did it, right? Oh, we made it. Get out of here. I can't even see that one that well. There we go. Are they just chilling up here? What the hell? <laughs> Why are they up here? <laughs> There's nothing else here. What? Oh, there's more over there, too. What are these two doing over here? What? There's, they're like not even guarding anything. <laughs> it's so odd. Oh, they're gone. So I'll take that. This is my moon. <laughs> Get off my moon. I don't think there's anything else here, though. <sighs> God, I've been having a nightmare with OBS. I absolutely hate the system. Honestly, I wish I could use something else, but I feel like nothing else is as good as OBS. But man, I just like lost all the recordings. I talked to, I don't even remember who now, because I've been dealing with OBS for the past two hours. We just got off the... I upgraded a ton of stuff. I sold a ton of stuff. 
someone came by and um, he wanted to inspect our ship and I allowed him to and then I told him that we are a crew together I'm so annoyed though so yeah I lost some footage I will see where this goes I did talk to this lady already so I'll talk to her again Police I'll just choose the same choices Delaney, that I chose Westerman before News. would you answer a few <laughs> questions for our viewers what do you want to know You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. <sighs> Man, I'm upset. <laughs> so upset. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? I said I was honored. Specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. I don't like galaxy. this lady that much, though. We asked to join After them as an honor. Her. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. So for Do this, you comment on that? I chose this option, and apparently they didn't know that. I'm still going to choose it because that's what I chose originally, but sadly I lost the footage. So, but now that I know that she's kind of like, I don't know, I don't like this lady, but if I were to choose it again, I would probably choose this interview is over <laughs> or time to shut up. <laughs> but I'm going to choose this one because I chose it before my footage got lost. Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. <sighs> See you later. See, that's what she says, and I'm like, after that, I was like, mm -hmm, okay, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that. Sadly, we lost it. There is something else that happened, too. I don't know if I can redo that, too. I guess we'll find out. Let me see. Yeah, this one. We were able to calm... So we lost this, too. Um, Talitha, she was on... Um, let's see. You said it did. Yeah, she was on Mindwar, where I lost my family. And she was taken as a slave at the age of six. And she was kind of just like, she didn't know what was going on. And she almost had, St she had Stockholm Syndrome. And, and we definitely brought that up. And we, our goal was to approach her, but not scare her into shooting herself. And luckily, you're able to back out of it. Because I, I de messed up at first and she got all mad. And so I backed out, then went back in. And then did the thing again. And then that time, I also fucked up. So then I went back out and went back in. And then I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that's how that went. I was very happy that I did it successfully, I guess, even though I had to back out twice. But it's okay. So, yeah, that's basically what happened. See, I thought I had talked to her before when we were first here, and I did. She didn't want to talk to me. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the human specter. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nasana, right? Yeah. I ran into your sister, Dahlia. It didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate this you This is when my recording got fucked. <laughs> but I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? 
You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. And then I chose, I've got a better deal. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Choice. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. God, you know who she sounds like? She sounds like... God, who? She sounds like, um... God. Why am I forgetting her name? Azula. Sorry. Azula from... <laughs> Avatar the Last Airbender. That's what she sounds like. Okay. So that's where I realized that well that's when the recording froze like right as I was running in here. <laughs> and then I talked to her and then midway through a conversation I was like, oh shit, my thing's broken. So luckily it wasn't too much. I'm very upset that it happened though. So now I'm constantly stressed looking at my OBS, wondering if it's gonna ever fail again. A you. Yeah, he is. Okay. This is an approved purchase. It's a bank statement. Also, they had a funny conversation too. <laughs> hey, Commander Shepard, it's me. There are Hi. rumors <laughs> on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. He's That's he's incredible. interesting. Like, he wants to take pictures Being of me now. Being a specter now. is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home, and they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. <laughs> when I did this, I was like, man, look at his smug face that he has. <laughs> Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. But the journal didn't update. I was confused by that when I saw that the journal didn't update. Oh, sure. I can return that. Well so yeah, we talked to the fan. After that, I went up here and had an interesting encounter. Yeah. So yeah, we, we did this as well. And again, I'll choose the same options I chose when I first did it. Even though sometimes I'm kind of curious of what would happen differently. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. <laughs> I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. And then, yeah, I think I said, isn't that still cheap? Can you do that? Yeah. Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. So then I said, let me do it. I'll help you out. Because <laughs> ah. I couldn't I I could defeat the it. inner me. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. <laughs> Not what I heard. And what did you hear exactly? More rumors about strange. 
So then I came over here. I did play some. I don't think it matters if I do it now. <laughs> Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Um, I'll, I'll just Is hear this a stuff again. Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. <laughs> so then Enjoy I said goodbye, and then I went to play some more. <laughs> so I'll do that again. I played until he made a comment about it. And that's when I got off and then gave him the thing. <laughs> so we'll do that until he makes a comment. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I was supposed to win every time. I guess it only helps a little bit, right? Damn it. Who? We keep playing until he says it. see someone getting as lucky as you <laughs> so yeah he says that and then I got off and I gave him the thing <laughs> I was like Hello I felt again. bad <laughs> can I help you I've got something you might be interested in let me see that you got that from shells didn't you I saw him using it earlier tossed him out on his ass for it too uh, thanks for bringing this to me cheaters shouldn't prosper <laughs> I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Take a few shots at the quasar on the house. I should be going. And then I tried Enjoy to do that, and I saw the pay, so. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> okay, I think that was. Well, after I finished talking to, to him. I think that was everything that didn't get so, recorded. Did you record five wins with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Hey, you, you'll figure it out. You're, you seem smart and capable. Okay, so now we've caught up on everything I did. So, what else? <sighs> I think that's everything. Now the only thing left for me to do is to actually finish one of the missions that I haven't done yet. <laughs> which is nice. Which is at the... Let's see. At the Citadel Tower. So. I'm so upset that all of that got lost. Because I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> Man. So yeah. That's, that's everything that happened now. <sighs> Finally. Something new. Hello. <laughs> no, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Commander. Hello. Any word on my missing men? Yes. I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not. My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Hmm. Somebody lured them there with an alliance mm -hmm. distress beacon, placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. 
Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines' ship in. Hmm. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Nice. Okay, we did that. Man, I'm just sad now that we had lost all that other footage. <laughs> I'm glad I could at least show you some of it. That was like the only save that I had that wouldn't send me back like hours. <laughs> so. Man. Oh, wait a second. Oh, shit. I, I saw your fellow's report. If we had known anything about the Thorian, Exogeny would never have been given the permits to start a colony there. Thank God the colony survived. We can't afford to have too many failures out in the <laughs> They all do that. <laughs> it's one of our major expansion regions. Um... You don't give a damn about the colonists. It's all just politics to you, isn't it? We can't all be the hero who charges in to save the day, Commander. But we each serve humanity in our own way. You can't escape interstellar politics. It's part of the big picture, and sometimes it isn't pretty. Just ignore him, Shepard. The ambassador's a little bitter sometimes. Comes Clearly. To the job. Oh, that's all you gotta say to me? Yes, oh. Commander. <laughs> how are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Saren. No. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. I like that. <laughs> Tell me what happened with you and Saren oh, 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Ud yes. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Yeah, already The only thing I care that. about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Oh. Did I ask him about Where this Where can yet? I find Admiral Kohoku? Last I heard, he was up in the tower trying to get the Council to investigate Bane's death. Is there anything else, Commander? Yeah, we talked to him already. Okay. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically yep, a... I remember Watch you saying your that. back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of Citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Okay. I yeah, should he doesn't go. really have anything else. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Yeah, I want to see this. Cool. You like that? Okay, I'm back. I took a break after being frustrated with losing some stuff. It's time to read some codex, though. <laughs> so that'll bring me my cheers up. That'll make me have my cheers up, yes. That makes sense. Read those. The home world and capital of humanity is oh. entering a new golden age. The resource wealth of a dozen settled colonies and a hundred industrial outposts flows back to Earth, fueling great works of industry, commerce, and art. The great cities are greening as arcology skyscrapers and telecommuting allow more efficient use of land. Earth is still divided among nation states, though all are affiliated beneath the overarching banner of the Systems Alliance. While every human enjoys a longer and better life than ever, the gap between rich and poor widens daily. Advanced nations have eliminated most genetic disease and pollution. Less fortunate regions have not progressed beyond 20th century technology and are often smog-choked, overpopulated slums. Sea levels have risen two meters in the last 200 years, and violent weather is common due to environmental damage inflicted during the late 21st century. The past few decades, however, have seen significant improvement due to recent technological advances. Well, that's great. <laughs> Good to know. Human 
The home world Earth doesn't change. It's interesting that they're all under the alliance, though. Humanity's first contact yeah, with an alien like race occurred in 2157. At that time, the alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered, a practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by council-aligned races. When a Turian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they attacked. One human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Turians followed, quickly defeating the local forces. Shanxi was occupied, the first and to date only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Turians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses. So they were unprepared when the second fleet, under Admiral Castany Drescher, launched a strong counter-offensive, evicting them from Shanxi. The Turians mobilized for full-scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The Council quickly intervened, forcing mm -hmm. a truce. Fortunately for humanity, the first contact uh, Yeah, I was going to say, it probably wasn't going to end well for us. <laughs> the Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament mm -hmm. and become the galactic face of humanity. Interesting. Pharos, oh yeah, I want to read this one. is a lush world located on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Only the political instability of the region has impeded efforts at colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with various criminal gangs and petty dictatorships in the nearby terminus systems all fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to ever settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expedient to steal from their neighbors than build for themselves. Interesting. I'm excited for Novaria. We already read that one, but the Normandy is a prototype. Sovereign is the the no Sovereign is the flagship of the rogue Spectre's Saren, mm. an enormous dreadnought larger than any other ship in any known fleet. It is crewed with both Geth and Krogan. At two kilometers long, its spinal-mounted main gun is likely capable of penetrating another dreadnought's kinetic barriers with a single shot. How Saren acquired this incredible warship is unknown. The prevailing opinion is that Sovereign is a Geth construct, while others believe it is a Prothean relic. That's what I said! Its design, however, <laughs> hints at a more alien and mysterious origin. The attack on Eden Prime demonstrated Sovereign's ability to generate mass effect fields powerful Maybe enough Reapers. to land on a planetary surface. This implies it has a massive element zero core and the ability to generate staggering amounts of power. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. How's it going? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species Ooh. when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. <laughs> we don't have the luxury of time, and Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. 
That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has <laughs> to offer. I looked into your history. Aww. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. <laughs> Man, that's so be. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Hmm. You're an alien. What? <laughs> Would this be say that I'm with her, or sometimes I'm so confused of what these are gonna end up being when he says it, because he doesn't say what they say. <laughs> um. It's, but we're not even. In a relationship, there's no option that says no. <laughs> Damn it. Williams and I are just friends. Oh, Nothing more. Thank God. <laughs> My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding like, human choose? relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? Oh, do I do it? I'm gonna do it. I really like Lara. No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? Maybe it's because you stuck your mind We have only known each other for a mind. short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. That is not the most romantic reason, is it? <laughs> you make it all sound so dangerous. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be a better line, okay? Like a little bad boyish type line. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. She doesn't need a protector. I am we not both used know to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. No. I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. The way I just leave. Oh my god. <laughs> let's go. Let's go see the drama that I've stirred up. Wait. Hey, Katie, guess what? <laughs> Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. Hmm. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Mm. <laughs> These lies. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? 
Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, wow. I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Hmm. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like the present company. That's great. Wait, though. Didn't let me say anything else to you. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharos. I mean, now that they're cut off from the Oh, yeah. Company. I think I already asked him that. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? See you later. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? Tassoni? Liara? Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. Did you say I this could already? understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in the So, of course, it could be. Anyway, interested in a quick drink? It's a special occasion. Oh, wait, this is different. That's contraband. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Hmm. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Ooh. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. Hmm. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. 
They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Oh god. Oh god, now that- god damn it. Feels like I can't be nice to anyone. <laughs> oh god. You're interested in me? It's hard to tell. Maybe I'm not. I guess you've been too busy saving the galaxy to think about it. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. If not, we'll convince them. One way or the other, the Alliance is going to play a role in the Council. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. We'll talk later, Williams. <laughs> I gotta leave the conversation. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm curious now. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it? Near Shepard? the end? With Saren, How I close mean. are we to the end of the game? <laughs> now I'm worried. Well, good to know. Apparently we're near the end. <laughs> it won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. No. That means a lot. And We're it says family. something about you. Family. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. I thought we were going to have later. third time's the charm, you know? <laughs> Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's right She's there. She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. Hey, see? She's got a real knack for technology, that Aww. one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. I think I asked that before. Where else have you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. And she's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Corps? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. 
Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Carry on, Adams. I See you later. Cool. We do have the best ship. Hello, Rex. Shepard. Oh? So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. That was one way to start off the conversation. <laughs> Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. So long, Rex. <laughs> Shepard. Okay. Today. Wait, I should talk to Garrus. I don't know if he'll have anything for me, though. Commander, I. What can I do for you? Oh. Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. Oh, we'll get him. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Aww. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? Yeah. What is it? Oh. Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? Yes. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, I'm kind of with him on this. Give them the chance, Commander. Oh? In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. <laughs> hmm. It's so hard, because I honestly don't trust the Council. At all, especially because they've already been keeping stuff from us, so it makes me wonder what else they could be keeping that they know that they're just not telling us. Almost kind of making it harder for us in a way. But I do want to. If Saren I don't want to do that reason. yet. If he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat, but only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape he is or a smooth convince talker. the council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Also true. Yeah. That's I see true. your point. Do you really <laughs> think there's are like, more yeah, to know, that makes sense. other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. I'm yes, curious sir. to see if he had different visions than I did. That's what I'm most curious about. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. Mm, yeah, I tried to handle that well. <laughs> I shouldn't have said the last thing that I had said when she had interviewed me. <laughs> She's very annoying. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. What? The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. 
I won't discuss them again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Part of me really wants to do, after I play this, like, once I play all the games, part of me wants to go through the games just full of Renegade. <laughs> Maybe that's something I'll stream. That'll be a lot of fun, though. Well, sadly, this is probably gonna be a shorter one. Uh, but hopefully I figured out the OBS stuff so it won't happen again. Um, yeah, next part, we're probably gonna go to Novaria. But first, I kind of wanted to do Garrus's mission. After that, maybe do a, a few little cleanups before we go to Novaria, and then we'll head to Novaria. Huge thanks to all my patrons, and I will see you guys in the next one.